to Vlogmas Day 5. I forgot to turn my music off. Um, I woke up on time, but when I got up, I looked around my room and I was like, girl, this place is a, like totally unorganized and a mess. So I got up this morning and kind of like reorganized the boxes that are in there because so I have the gift away stuff and the advent calendars all together. I have a bunch of like small boxes and bubble wrap saved up so I can send all the gift away stuff. And then I have all the stuff that I opened yesterday. And then I have all the stuff for videos that are coming up and it's just completely unorganized. And so I got up this morning and I like reorganized it all and it's good now, but that took me until like 7.10. And so I had like 20 minutes to get dressed and get out the door. So I just threw on some eyeliner and some mascara and an outfit, which I will show you the outfit later because I want to show you these leggings that I'm wearing. They're so cute, so soft. Ugh. I love them. And then, yeah, I got out the door before 7.30. So now I just have to go get coffee. But I just wanted to like fill you guys in on what had happened or what was going on this morning because we usually do our makeup together and I did not have a chance this morning. So I will see you guys a little later and I'll show you my outfit. So I was just talking to the guy at Dutch and we were talking about getting our Christmas trees and he said his friend sent him a picture <laughs> that she got her Christmas tree and it apparently had some kind of spider nest in it. So she had spiders all over her house. She was freaking out. Um, I would be too. So <laughs> I got thinking about like if anyone has like tree horror stories. I never, that never happened to me. We didn't have any critters or anything in any of our trees. Um, you may rehear stories from last year, Vlogmas this year. So if you've been with me, you've heard these before maybe. But <clears throat> when I was growing up, we had a tree farm right up the street. And it was probably three quarters of a mile maybe maybe not even that much. And we would walk up there. We would pick out our tree and we would walk our tree back home. So like one of us would carry the front and one of us would carry the trunk. And like, it was usually my dad, my sister and I, and we would walk the tree back all the way home. And it was kind of fun and it was cool. And it's something that obviously I'll always remember because it was it was like a special time and um, there's pictures somewhere of like us carrying it and my mom taking a picture of us like walking across the street. Where I grew up was pretty rural. Um, I know I've talked about that before like a lot of farms and stuff and so it wasn't dangerous to walk down the street you know. So we never had I'm trying to remember if my mom ever even had a fake tree. I know she does now, but I think while I was living at home, we never had a fake tree. We always had a real tree. I don't think she got a fake tree until she, she may have lived by herself the first time she had a fake tree. I do remember one year, my mom had this extensive, like ceramic village, Christmas village. And I remember one year my dad, they had just moved to their house, which was out even more rural than where we grew up. And my dad cut down this tree in the backyard to clear some space. And he took the trunk of the tree and put a large circular piece of plywood on top of it and screwed it in. And she put her entire village on the table basically so it had like a tree on the bottom like a big plywood thing that he covered in like fake snow and then a small I think it had a smaller tree coming out of the middle I'm trying to remember now but I know like it was so cool and they put it in the living room in where their 
dining room table would go. If they put it in the dining room where their dining room table would go. And it was, it was one of the coolest displays. I'll have to see, I'm going to see my mom this weekend, so maybe I can find some pictures. She unfortunately lost a bunch of pictures when her computer crashed. Um, gosh, this is like 10 years ago now. It's funny because like we, Roger and I moved into our house in August. My mom and dad moved into their house in September and then my sister and her husband moved into their house in October. We all bought houses within like three months of each other. It was kind of cool. I decorated really extensively the first like two years that I lived on my own, like with Roger. Um, but our cats broke some of my like most prized things that my mom gave me. Um, some old home interior. Now nah, I'm taking this way back. <laughs> home interior um, angels. They were, my mom had like four or five sets of them and she gave my sister and I each one. Um, when my mom moved, she kind of separated all her Christmas stuff and she gave some to me and some to my sister and she kept what she wanted. And so it was really special to me to have stuff that was used when I was a kid to decorate. Because every time we got the decorations out, we pretty much put everything in the same spot. Like everything had a spot. Like the angels were on the bookshelf behind the door and there was a table runner and that's what went on the hope chest that was by the door. And stuff like that there there were certain things that went certain places and that's how I liked it and my mom didn't care as long as it got done you know and so my cats broke those the first year or the first maybe the second year and I was so heartbroken and I tried to fix a couple of them but they just weren't the same and so I stopped putting that stuff out and Finally, we just got down to a tree, and then there was a couple years we didn't even get a tree. And it was like, because Roger didn't care. Like, he was like, meh, Christmas, meh. I love Christmas. Like, Christmas is my favorite time of year. It's like family and everyone together. And he was just like, bleh, Christmas is no big deal. And so it was kind of left to me to do it. And I just got complacent about it. And so we didn't have a tree for like four or five years. Our thought was, I guess, no one comes to our house for Christmas. We go everywhere for Christmas. No one's gonna see it but us, so what does it really matter? And that really got me down on Christmas for quite a while. But I'm, in, I'm back into it now. Kind of Vlogmas kind of forced me last year to kind of get back into it and I'm really glad it did actually because I missed having like a purpose at Christmas time like I missed having that beauty and wonder around me and I guess that's kind of like a lesson to not let your depression and your stuff kind of hold you back from doing something that you love go out there and put that tree up and you know put that tinsel up and that mistletoe whatever you guys want so all right I'm at work I will see oh it's 27 degrees it's so cold here's today's outfit I want to show you guys these leggings that I got they are the Terra and Sky also from Walmart like the sweater I had yesterday and then the dress is just from Torrid um, I like it a lot. It's just a simple outfit. Um, but I also wanted to tell you that I got my results back from the test that I took at the gynecologist and it's normal. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> like it really had me worried and they took forever, but I still have to go every year for a pap smear. So yay. I don't know. Anyway, um, I probably won't talk to you again until I get home tonight. And we're going to decorate the tree and I'm super excited.
Give me my reindeer ears, please. So I can be festive and in the mood. I, don't your, I want to open it. Stop damaging property. <laughs> it's my property. It's my property. It's my personal property and I want it back. Your lights are having a seizure. We're festive as F. Festive as fuck. Oh, you're recording this one? Yes! Sorry. We are very festive. Please edit everything out. <laughs> We are super festive. Fe fe uh, festive. Freaky freaky. Freaky freaky. Freaky deaky. Guys, are you ready to see this tray? <laughs> I feel like I just want to dump it out. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay. When, and back in my day, we went and cut trees, not put them together. <laughs> yeah, we don't. <laughs> Alright, so there's feet. What the actual fluffer nuts? <laughs> What's wrong? Have you never had a fake tree before? No, I told you I'm used to real trees. <laughs> Well, they don't make them this color in real life. I would hope that would be a very sick tree. <laughs> that tree would need some help. Uh, Alright. I can't find where to put this in. Because I'm pretty sure this goes into that. Yeah, it goes... I can't find it yet. Let's, um... Okay, let's do one part at a time. Let's fluff the bottom first. How do we fluff the sea bottom? So you kind of just pull the little branches out a little bit. See how easy it is? This is not pre-lit, by the way. I hope not. Well, they make them pre-lit. Well, they come with lights already in them. Freaking lazy people. <laughs> Your girlfriend is a lazy person. No, you're not. You're a very driven person. It's true. So where do you get set pink, purple? I don't know my colors right now. For the love of chimney cribbas. Where do I get purple trees? Yes. Amazon. Freaking Amazon. They get everything. It's a fucking Muppet. <laughs> ah, it's tickling me tree. Actually, kind of looks like Barney's cousin. I love you. You love me. Don't ever do that again. I hated that. Why, Christy? Stop! That's awful. Then I can do a birdie voice? Yeah, I don't like it. Please stop. <laughs> I hope you love me, Christy. <laughs> stop! I hate it. Oh, freaking hilarious. All the boys and girls love me too. Stop. Alright, so we got our little tree here. Let's get this out of the way. God help us, everyone. God help us, everyone. Oh, yeah. I guess it says God bless. And let's finish the tree. Should we put lights on it before we move it? No, ho, 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 ho. No, ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho. Ho, ho, up in this biatch. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs>
I like it. Do you want ornaments or do you want it as it is? Let's yeah. leave it like this for like a day. Because okay. you're the one who has to look at this thing. I know. Right, so there's my measly tree. It was actually really fun. I'll put ornaments on it later this week. I might grab another thing of lights too. Hi guys! Alright, it's time for the end of the night. Xavier's being loud. <laughs> so we're going to start with Harry Potter again. Phone. Really? Every time I start. I don't, I don't want it. <laughs> <gasps> it's Hedwig! Wait, is that his name? Hedwig, yeah. Hedwig, right? Why did I think I had that wrong? That sounds super loud for you guys. I notice my mic picks up a lot of background noise or a, a, and a lot of, you know, weird noises. So there's Hedwig. He's really adorable. Right? That's so cute. I can <laughs> I can see that day 11 is Dobby. So pretty excited for that. <laughs> I'm jealous about that. You don't watch my videos? What the heck? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go next to the day five winner. And it is Erica Parton. I'm gonna write this down. Erica Parton. I will message you and Catherine, because sorry, Catherine, I forgot to message you today. So let's see what's in the Knicks. The Knicks, the Knicks, the Knicks, the Knicks, the Knicks. Oh, it goes all the way across. We have another lip. This is their Intense Butter Gloss. This is the color, let me see, Sweet Nothing. very pink it smells good though so let's put that aside why are you being so loud <laughs> all right number five looks like this is gonna be a lip too or maybe a mascara or a travel size something no nope, it's a lip <laughs> So this is, what do they call this? Amazing Lipstick in Affection. Are these like similar colors? I bet you could wear that lipstick with the gloss over the top and it would look bomb. So Erica, you're getting both of these. Because I think they'll look really, really nice together. So I'm going to wrap your name around those. Put those in my box. All right, guys. Um, that is the end of day five. Um, trying to think, is there anything else that we should talk about? I don't think so. We got my tree up. We got the lights and the garland and the topper on. Um, I'm gonna slowly put uh, ornaments on it. I want to make some ornaments with you guys, so we'll probably do that tomorrow. Um, I have a couple ideas for ornaments that I want to make. So. That should be really fun, and yeah, I think that's all for now. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think so. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow for day six, and I love you. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!